In this lecture, we are going to look at different types of cardiomyopathies and the diagnosis aspect, the etiological aspects as well as the management aspects of different cardiomyopathies. What is a cardiomyopathy? So, it is a primary disorder of heart muscle that causes abnormal myocardial performance, systolic or diastolic and it is not the result of disease or dysfunction of other cardiac structures. So, this disorder of cardiac muscle should not be produced by myocardial infarction, should not be produced by hypertension, should not be produced by valvular stenosis or a regurgitation. So, actually when you look at this definition, cardiomyopathy is a diagnosis of exclusion. There is a disorder of heart muscle, but there is no, no known cause to cause it. So, that is the cardiomyopathy definition. So, this is one of the best classifications of cardiomyopathy, although there are different uh, types of classifications are there. One of the best because the classified into genetic cardiomyopathies and acquired cardiomyopathies and mixed cardiomyopathies. Genetic cardiomyopathies are hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, arrhythmogenic RV dysplasia, left ventricular non-compaction, very rare glycogen storage disorders and some of the conduction defects or mitochondrial myopathies, all these things are very rare. And now, even though you do not have structural abnormality of the heart, if you have ion channel disorders which are shown in electrocardiogram, then also they are grouped under genetic cardiomyopathies. So, long QT syndrome, short QT syndrome, Brugada syndrome, catecholaminergic ventricular polymorphic tachycardia, Asian sudden death syndromes, they all are electrocardiogram abnormalities because of ion channel disorders with no structural heart disease inside, still they come under genetic cardiomyopathies. Whereas acute cardiomyopathies are the classical post-viral uh, myocarditis which is called inflammatory myocarditis and cardiomyopathy. We have a cardiomyopathy called Taku Toshibo syndrome which is stress provoked, peripartum cardiomyopathy and sometimes a long standing arrhythmia can produce tachycardia induced cardiomyopathy and insulin and dependent mothers, babies may have hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. So, these are acquired cardiomyopathies. Whereas cardiomyopathies which have got mixed etiologies of genes as well as some infections or acquired diseases. <laughs>